Hey guys, today I'm going to go through Peach Worlds, a really interesting 3D immersive website builder. So what this means is, look at their website. What this means is that you can actually create 3D websites within one single platform. Now that's not to say that you can't use other assets within the project. If you have spline assets, for example, you can you can actually bring them into Peach Builder and then uh, do some really interesting things uh, inside here. Let me show you a few examples. So Peach Worlds, wow, some really fast loading time on that and some pretty mad graphics. There's going to be some crazy stuff. Look at this, another template here shows a load of different 3D objects in some kind of gallery space. Here's one for Porsche. <whistles> Mad, the detail on this asset. And it's so fast to load. It's not glitchy at all. What's really nice as well is that it works on mobile too really nicely. Sometimes since this is all built uh, for 3D websites, it obviously takes into account mobile, whereas sometimes when you design stuff within uh, other tools, other 3D tools, because it's not specifically built for the web, it might just be built for, you know, anything, an ad campaign or, um, you know, whatever screen size, it's not really thinking about load speed as much, but this is super fast. And then the final example here, seriously cool kind of Greek mythology type vibe of this website. <clears throat> so let's dive in. So how does this work, right? Well, you can uh, try it out for free and there's loads of amazing templates in here. Um, all the things that I just showed you are in here, you can see here, and they've got an incredible team that are creating loads and loads of content, uh, videos, uh, on remixing sites, etc. So I recommend just making an account and having a little look in here. Their website um, has just been rebuilt and redesigned, so it gives you a really clear idea of what you can do and what you can't. But when you log in, if you click on one of these templates, uh, let's say this Jordan one, I think it's awesome, remix it a lot like you might in uh, Spline. And then what that's going to do is it's going to open in your own account. And you can see all the different things that are going on in here. So just like uh, Spline, um, if you've used Spline, then you'll be quite familiar with the look and feel of this uh, platform. So this is in Spline. You've got the objects on the left. And then when you click on an object, you have different things going on on the right. Inside Peach Worlds, similarly, you have uh, basically objects on the left and then as you click through you'll see that you've <coughs> you've got a panel here that changes um, accordingly now if you want to move different objects inside here we can zoom out see the scene if you want to move an object then you can click on it and then you can drag it using these arrows here uh, same is true with lights etc so you can change the look and feel of things now at the top here you've got animate which has a timeline so it's really nice you can drag that through depending on the page scroll i love the ui here because it just means that if you are doing motion this is just a a really nice uh, keyframe experience here and it just means that you can change uh objects moving as you as you scroll down. You can actually test it out by clicking in to this play button in here. And then you've got the UI. So this is the, the text elements that are basically overlaying this animation here. So we can uh, change, change the text by double clicking just like any other website builder. Uh, we can change the position of it and uh, we can also do some quite interesting things with uh, states as well. So you can have uh, animations of the text elements as well. If you wanted to 
drag in some other objects or create some other objects, you can do that quite easily in here. Now my favorite one of all of them is water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just drag in a water element into here. So we should see that, oh, I haven't done it. Let's try that again. Wow, look how quickly and easily I have managed to manipulate this scene and let me just click on the water, we can rise it. I think I want it just below the uh, rocks in here. See how quickly we've added that water effect? Now obviously I haven't animated it at all, so um, it needs a little bit of uh, clearing up, but you can see how quickly you can animate things um, in 3D in a website setting. If you just want this to feel like a mirror, you can actually turn up and down um, reflectivity, uh, flow. Obviously, if you want it to, to feel like a mirror, you don't want it to necessarily move. So what you can do is you can just change the flow speed to zero. And you can see that it is stock steady. Um, now, if we animate around the scene, see how that's just reflecting what's above. So cool. Anyway, there's a super, super quick tour of Peach Worlds. M massively recommend checking it out. Uh, super fast load, load time, tons of really great tutorials from the team. Super clear. You can see what their vision is. Uh, it's early doors for, for the world of 3D web, but I really do think Peach Worlds is onto something here because um, their, their websites are just so scrollable. And I think as more and more people are, you know, looking for experiences that make them go, wow, um, with shorter attention spans online and also I think just the general bar for content has just generally gone up. Um, I'm going to leave you on this slide here. Flat websites are losing attention daily. 3D websites are winning the attention game. Up to five times more CTRs, that's click-through rate. Up two times engagement, up 40% conversion. And 10 times awards and nominations. I think those speak for themselves. Try out Peach Worlds today. It's mad. Go check it out. Bye.